Hi everyone, it is Lauren. I'm here live. I hope you can join me. And I kind of have a project here. It's uh, maybe what we would call an experiment. <laughs> so if you want to jump in and try doing something similar yourself, we'll see how this turns out. We'll see how it works. Um, I think it's going to be fun. So we'll see what happens. I started um, partially. Um, and I am using Sawyer Ribbon. I'm using a few buttons, some pearl flatbacks, some little pieces of chain, a few little design pieces, um, embellishments, I guess you would call it. I have a couple flat back rhinestones, um, possibly, and I'm going to cover it with UV resin. So we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> I have not tried this before with covering the sorry ribbon in resin. Um, I heard you can cover fabric. You just have to be careful. Um, you can always test it out first and see if you like it. Um, like see how it looks when it's wet because that's kind of sort of what it'll look like. Um, so I cut my little pieces of sorry ribbon already. I'm using a backless bezel um, because it is a deeper walled bezel and that's kind of what I wanted so I had enough room to put stuff on top of the sorry ribbon plus then to add my thin layer of resin. So I just took some pearl, perfect pearls like a silvery white color and I mixed it with UV resin. I used the pet tape and I made a thin little layer here. So this is the back of my backless bezel. So I had a back and then I had something to put my sorry ribbon in. Debbie, you made it. Nancy, hello. So um, I put a thin layer. Okay, so once I had my quote unquote fake back here on my backless bezel, I put a real thin layer of Mod Podge and then I took my little cut strips of sorry ribbon and I laid them down. Um, I kind of have them at an angle, um, but you can do them straight up and down if you want to like try to layer them into a pattern, you can. So we're gonna see how this works. As you can see, this one, it kind of soaked in the decoupage a little bit, so it did darken my sari ribbon. It was a little bit darker. You'll see like a little dark spot there. And this color kind of got a little darkened as well. Um, I think it was a little bit thinner. Hi, Andrea! Tara, hi! But we'll see how this goes. Um, this might even be something fun that you could try for our 80s challenge that we have going right now on our Facebook group. So we'll see how this turns out, guys. Like I said, this is kind of an experiment. <laughs> but everything that I have here is on Bisu Boutique's website. So I'm gonna go ahead, hey Chris! I am gonna go ahead and start layering the other pieces, laying down the other pieces that I wanted to put on top of my sari ribbon. And then we will do our resin and we'll see how this turns out, right? So I tried to use some bright colored We'll see, we'll see, Cynthia. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. We'll see how the resin makes the sorry ribbon look afterwards. But, I, like I was saying to myself, and like Bisu even, we are putting things on top of the sorry ribbon. So, it's not like the focus is necessarily 100% on the sorry ribbon. It's just gonna be like little spaces of color peeking up through. So it might still be okay. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Cause I heard you can use UV resin on fabric. So I was like, well, let's try it. Let's see. <laughs> so why not do it with you guys? So let's have some fun and we'll start this out. So I have some buttons cause we've been talking about buttons on the website. We got some beautiful button lots and a button mix. Um, we have that Kashi 
pearl mix. Um, so I'm gonna add some buttons to this. I have a few little buttons here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop them in here. So I'm gonna put one right there on that spot. <laughs> Won't even know it's there, right? <laughs> now you don't even know. All right, so I have a little bit of a bigger one. So you know what, let's do, let's do the big one there. And then I'll put like a little one over here. This, oops, sorry, I hit the tripod. Okay, so like, whoo, and I'm flinging buttons, that's good. Okay, so we'll put one maybe there. Do another one like up over here. You can move that down a little bit. Okay, and then I have some little, we got some new um, little flat back pearls and um, they're so cute. We got regular, so if you want just like the plain cream, we have the plain cream, but we also got one of those like little, I don't know, you got like a little pinwheel, you know, like the little pinwheels um, and it's got colored flat back like acrylic pearls. Um, I think there's like 10 of them. And I believe they're in the what's new section. Hi Denise, glad you made it. So um, I will post it later when I make my collage or I can even just um, put the quick link for it underneath um, my post from earlier. Um, but yeah, it's got some really pretty colors in it. So keep that in mind too. And we have different sizes. All right, so I'm trying to use this pickup tool because I thought maybe it would be easier, but. Hi, Colleen. All right, so now I have, okay, so we have those fun colored chains. So those seem kind of 80s to me too. So that's why I was also thinking you could maybe go 80s with this if you wanted. Um, oh, so you use fabric too. Okay. All right. So I'm sorry because I'm new to YouTube here on the videos, on the live videos. So just make something. Who am I talking to? Because I know you sometimes have different names. Your screen names are different than your actual name. So let me know who I'm talking to. They just make something. Who just commented about cutting out images from fabric. I probably know who you are, but <laughs> just in case. But these chains, even if you don't want to make like this particular project, just hint, hint for our 80s challenge that's happening right now. These two chains, killer. Perfect 80 colors. We got the the aqua and then we have like this pinkish purple chain both on Bisou Boutiques so definitely fun Dee Dee hi Dee Dee so what kind of fabric um do you use is there a certain kind so I'm gonna layer some of this fun chain in here We'll see what happens with this. Okay. Chain. Isn't it cool, Chain? It's very 80s, isn't it? So yeah, these are just little tiny scraps of that chain that I pulled. Just link chain. But the colors are really pretty in person. This is the aqua. So, yeah, like I said, really perfect for our challenge right now. Okay. So, I I feel like I just want to move this one pearl just slightly because I feel like it's not perfectly straight and I get weird with stuff like that okay better 
That one, I feel like it's hiding just slightly. Oh, okay. So just regular fabric. Okay. Have you tried on like, um, sorry ribbon before by chance? Like I said, this is my first time. So this is, this is an experiment. So don't be mad at me guys if this doesn't turn out. <laughs> But I thought it was at least worth a try, a shot, right? In case any of you were wondering, we'll discover together. And then maybe we have a fun new cool thing to do. Okay, so what do you guys think? Let me get this up in the camera. What do you guys think? I think that looks pretty cool, right? And then we can try to put our resin over top and we can see what happens right not yet okay well we'll see what happens here all right guys moment of truth i got the uv resin i'm gonna put it on <laughs> So let me just, okay, I want to just tap this down just slightly. I want to, I'm trying to get these links on this chain. I want them to lay flat. Um, and I just bumped my pearl now because of that. Darn it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let me fix this. I'm going to try to pull this link over here a little bit. So I can put my pearl back. I mean, per stick, per snickety. <laughs> All right. All right. I think I'm ready now. I don't move. <laughs> yeah, star ribbon is really cool. Um. So I love using it, Cynthia. Um, I don't know if you saw my video. I showed um, a little tiny demo on an easy trick to make tassel earrings using sari ribbon and just a head pin. Nothing else. No glue, no nothing. You just kind of like loop. You use an eye pin. I'm sorry. You use an eye pin and the sari ribbon. And um, it's a really neat trick to make tassels with sorry ribbon for earrings so but yeah love sorry ribbon I also like using like scraps of denim I made I took some of our cuffs that we have um our channel cuffs and I did um scraps of denim from jeans that I wasn't wearing anymore And I cut it out in pieces and put it with Mod Podge onto the cuff base. And then I, this pearl cap doesn't want to stay. Um, and then I used at the seams, like where my pieces were like coming together, I used cup chain. to add a little bit of bling. Well, this is definitely darkening my sari ribbon. But you can still definitely see color. I'm trying to push this down. I want to make sure that gets down in there. One color is kind of really dark, but that's okay. in there. 
I talk to myself, guys. You guys talk to yourselves. Okay, so I am going to put this in my UV light. And we will see how this comes along. Turn on the light here in a second. Okay, so some other pieces that you might like um, for your piece, just as some other alternatives. I wasn't able to fit these in mine. So sometimes you gotta pull some things and then just try them out and kind of pull them, put them down, depending on your space or whether you like them or not. But this is a little bow, which everyone knows I love bows. And then this is a little gloved hand, which is real cute. They're real small, so they're great for embellishments, you know, um, for like assemblage and for great for putting in like resin. If you have a big enough piece with, you'll need a deeper wall. Like I said, that's why I'm using this particular bezel because it does have that deeper wall, that lip, so you can fit some more things in there. Oh, you used regular resin. Yes, this is the UV resin. So I love the UV resin. There's no mixing. Have you tried the UV resin, Cynthia? Have you used it yet? Or just the two part? Um, Cause the UV resin, we have it on the site and it is awesome. There's no mixing, there's no two parts. You just pour it on what you want to use, put it in your light and you're done. Occasionally you'll get little tiny bubbles with the UV resin. Um, but not, not major. Um, I actually worked on a piece yesterday. I can post a picture of it later. Um, but I did a anchor in colored resin. And I kind of did like an ombre effect with blues. And then I put my anchor down and then I covered it with resin. And it did get a couple of bubbles um, near the bottom of the anchor but it actually didn't bother me with that particular piece because it was kind of ocean and like the anchor was like sinking down into the water and it kind of seemed natural to me for it to kind of have a few bubbles anyways so I didn't even bother removing them before I hardened it I left the bubbles I saw them before I put it in my light and I was like you know what I think it'll add to it so I kind of left the bubble so they're still in my piece they're very very tiny um you almost miss them but they are there but I kind of liked the effect of the bubbles with that particular piece hi beans I'm glad you made it <laughs> but yes oh we have lots of buttons we have particular um button lots um, that you can pick from. We have a button mix. We have the sorry ribbon in stock. It is back on the site. Like I said, we have those chains. Okay, so here is my piece. So some of the colors over here, they're pretty, they're kind of on the darker side. Um, these colors you can kind of see better. So like that yellow color that I used was a really good color. It didn't really darken too much. So when I try this again, might want to stay on like this side of that color family. Um, the blue, like that bluish purple color, it's really dark. Um, so, but this was a good practice experiment piece so it is workable it is something you can do you just want to be careful of the particular colors that you choose if you want them to be the focus in your resin because the resin does darken them 
but I think this is kind of cool. And then this is the back that I made because this was a backless bezel. So again, to do this, I used our pet tape that we sell at the site and I mixed the UV resin with a little bit of like perfect pearl color, like a kind of silvery white color to kind of go with the amount that I was using since it's silver. Mixed that up, made sure the bezel was really tight on my pet tape and I spread it all out cured it and then I went ahead and did my sorry ribbon on top of this made fake bottom so yeah it's kind of nifty it's different I might have to make another one and use some more colors like this like that yellowy colored because I really like that. That actually turned out really pretty in the resin, that particular color. So you could even do one color. You don't have to do layer colored. If you find one color that works really well in the resin, you could just do one and then do other colored pieces on top. Like you could use colored flatbacks like crystal rhinestones instead. So maybe that's what I'll do. I'll use that particular color for my sorry ribbon. And then I will use other colors like with the chain and with rhinestones. You could use cup chain in here. You could use ball chain, which we also have on the site. Um, trying to think. Uh, we have other little sewing pieces. If you want to go with that kind of theme with the buttons, we have little safety pins um, and we might have some thimble charms as well. Um, you can just kind of cut off the little hang holes and then stick them in here and you can have like a sewing piece if you're into sewing or know someone that's into sewing with the ribbon and then the buttons and everything. If you want to go that route, you can make it more themed. But yeah, this was a, a cool experiment. It didn't turn out too badly. <laughs> Might need a little bit more resin when I'm looking at it. it. Looks like a little bit of the chain is still sticking up there. You can see. So you want to make sure you double check things, um, like I'm doing, and make sure that your resin, you know, when you run your fingers across it, is smooth and everything is covered. If there's no edges. Hmm. If you're you. Oh, if it sticks to the resin a bit. I've had that happen slightly and I kind of just reapplied some resin and cured it again. Um, but you kind of just want to make sure that your layer is kind of thick enough and you cure it um, completely, I would say, Colleen. Um, make sure that that tackiness is completely gone and then pull the pet tape off like as slowly and like easily as you can so it doesn't do that. Um, BC, do you have any tips maybe for that? If the pet tape sticks to the resin a bit when you pull it off, um, how can you uh, take the pet tape off if you don't want to scratch the resin by scraping it off? Do you have any thoughts on that? I'll have to ask her and see what she thinks. But yeah, I would just make sure that your your bottom is, yeah. <laughs> Maybe try to cure it a little more, Colleen. Did you, when you um went to touch your resin in your bezel, was it like completely hard? Did it feel completely hard or did it still have like a bit of that tacky feeling? Cause you wanna make sure that tackiness is completely gone. That's how you know that it's completely cured and hardened. Um, and then just peel it real slow and easy. 
but I did have it happen once a little bit. Um, I actually had, when I pulled the pet tape off, I must not have made the one spot, like the one layer um, in a certain spot as thick or something because I ended up getting actually a little bit of like a hole. Um, when the pet tape came off, it pulled a little bit of resin with it. And so I kind of like had to do like a fill-in job. <laughs> um, maybe nail polish remover. I'm not sure. Um, that might work, but if you're going to use the nail polish remover, you're going to want to make sure that you use one with the acetone. And you can also use that a little bit if, like, say, like, with something like this, and say you're, like, you're filling something, and you accidentally have, like, a little bit of, like, spillage, and you, and then, without realizing it, you cure it, um, you can use a little bit of nail polish remover to remove the tiny bit of resin that hardened on your piece. So... Yeah, I'll I'll tag B Sue and see what she thinks. What? Too. Um, we were talking about the pet tape. Mm -hmm. And um Colleen was asking if the pet tape sticks to the resin a bit when you pull it off. It can. But what you can use to take the pet tape off cuz oh, don't want to like, like if you don't want to sticky. Maybe? No, she says it's not tacky anymore, but she doesn't want to like scratch the resin by scraping it off. But she says that it's it's kind of sticking a little bit. Like some of the pet tape is coming off on it? Or the resin is coming off on the pet tape a little bit. Oh. There might have been a buzz, bubble or something. I wouldn't really worry about that. If she's concerned, I would maybe take a tiny thin layer of resin and go over the back where the pet tape was and stick it back in the thing. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't think it's a problem. She doesn't think it's a problem, Colleen. Um, you can probably still pull it off. Yeah, I'll post a picture if you want. You can post a picture on the group if you want. And that way we can see exactly... Okay, so she said that she was using a backless bezel, but some of the pet tape stuck to her resin. And she's, she's not sure how to get the pet tape off without... The green stuff? Without... I've never had that happen. Saying, she, might not have, so. she might not have cut enough so she could get a tab on it and pull it off even. Yeah. Post a picture, Colleen, on yeah. the creative group. Let I've us never, see it. I've never had that happen. Yeah, so. if we see it, maybe we'll... I'm sure there's a fix. Though. There's a visual. We'll be able to get a better grasp on what your issue is, and we can help you a little bit better with that. But yeah, so this is the piece. Oh no, it's fine, Colleen. Not on here. You can just post it on the actual creative group. Post a picture of your of your piece that you um, mentioned, and then we can see it better and we can help you because we definitely want to help you. It's just it might help us better if we can if we can actually like see it. So yeah. No, no issues whatsoever. I'm, I'm glad you asked because someone else may have the issue as well. No problem, girl. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you guys liked this little experiment. <laughs> and I might actually try to make another one. Um, do a little different. Um, but I do like the idea of using the sari ribbon with the, with the resin. So, and you can also use, um, scrapbook paper. Um, I made a piece and I used, it was thicker cardstock, um, scrapbook paper. So it was, it was thicker than your norm. Um, and I used it in one of our frame mounts. And I can post a picture of that. Um, not not at this moment. <laughs> not not here on film. <laughs> but I probably will make another one. <laughs> and I can post it if I do make another one. Um, 
but I made um, a piece with the cardstock and if you want to do that you totally can um, if you have like a piece like a photo or something like that um, I would suggest like I said using the thicker cut cardstock scrapbook type paper and do a thin layer of the Mod Podge over top of it and then putting your resin um, because it protects it from the resin and the thick because it was thicker then it didn't soak through but the Mod Podge also helps with that as well but I will post a picture of that so that's another idea um, aside from the sari ribbon to put it in the resin you can do like a picture or a pattern from scrapbook paper a photo or something so I can maybe show that next week too if you guys want um I'm also thinking about trying uh, to show maybe like a mini demo or a project for our 80s challenge. Um, so you guys let me know what you wanna see, if you wanna see something done um, idea wise for like the 80s challenge, or if you want me to show you how to do the cardstock um, in the resin in like a frame or a locket type mount and we can have some more fun next week so i will have a collage for you guys with the SKU numbers showing the pieces that i used um and i'll post the links for these little pieces too in case you like want to use something like that and i will post a quick link for flat backs because we do have a lot of pretty colored flat backs and i will put the quick link for the flatback pearls that we got in as well. I'll make sure that I that I add those to my collage for later too. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was kind of a quick little demo, but I know people like quick. Um, so thanks for watching and I hope you liked it. I hope you guys have fun and you play around and I would love to see what you make. So post it on the group. Um, if you do and it is work table Wednesday so make sure you post your tables and you have today's hashtag the date for today um, so we know that it is today's date and you can get counted for that gifty stay safe stay warm and I will see you 